証明しましょう僕が勝つことをよろしく頼むぜ Hey, it's g o n n be Vanguard and today we're gonna be playing with some bugs Alright, l we got an actual match this time. I queued up a couple of times and I just kept getting VP farmers. So, a lot about the state of the game, I guess. But, alright, in any case, we're gonna go ahead and mulligan here, try and get ourselves a grade 3. We're gonna get the Legion, which is not great, because this is. Oh, this is Kaguro. Okay. I was expecting、uh, Narukami for some reason. Alright, l so we might actually be able to Legion. I don't know if I really want to, but、uh, in any case, yeah, we're playing Mega Colony today. It is probably gonna be the last of these sort of Vanguard Zero videos I do for a little bit.、Um, and that's just kind of because I've run out of decks that I've been playing a lot with lately. Like,、uh, thanks to Fighters Collection, a lot of things、really、received a lot of support. And I've been playing with them a lot、uh, in the latter. And that's why I can actually talk about them and whatnot. But I've kind of gone through all of them <laughs> right now, right? Um, so basically, what I'm trying to say is, there's anything maybe you'd like me to give a shot and build and see if、uh, maybe I can build out a deck with? Let me know.、Uh, I try not to just basically do any of the like the newer things from every set because I know pretty much Different f i r e s is going to do a video on basically all of those anyway, so you won't see me talk about Blade Master or、uh, Gear Chronicle or anything like that. Because、uh, I know that's already being covered everywhere else, so I try to go over stuff that hasn't been, with the ex exception of, you know, Mega Colony here, because it's a different fight. I actually did do a video on Mega Colony, and、uh, I'm pretty sure some other people have talked about it as well.、Uh, but I just really like the deck.、Uh, same thing, sort of, with the Victor thing.、Um, the deck is pretty fun. It's probably the only control deck. You know, control style deck you'll ever see me play in just about any card game.、Um, basically, the main game plan is to not let our opponent stride. And that is why the name of the deck is、uh, Only I Stride. I have forgotten to update the actual image <laughs> for this deck. So let's go ahead and do that right away. There we go. That is the deck that we're using or not using. Kyoto anymore. That is why the name of this deck is actually only Ice Stride. And that being because what I do basically is just、uh, lock out my opponent from being able to stride by constantly beating, making them, you know, re ride or discard great three or whatnot. And、uh, we'll see if we can get to do that this time around. We are going second. But it、uh, seems like we're gonna get smacked pretty hard, which is kind of okay, because we need a lot of counter blasts to get anywhere.、Uh, Blade Master is kind of a rough matchup, because they can retire a lot of our units, and we need a lot of units on board to actually be able to do anything with our strides. But we actually do have a way around that, thanks to the War Skull here. So basically, the War Skull and our main stride here in, in the Machining Destroyer do the same thing. Um, where they paralyze your opponent's vanguard. When your vanguard is paralyzed, it does not stand next turn. You would have to either rewrite it, re it, it, or just basically not use your vanguard that turn, right?、Uh, the w a r s i c l e is a little bit more powerful, but his abilities are locked behind a、uh, limit break, where the w a r s i c l e also forces your opponent to discard a card in order for them to be able to ride again. Right?、Um, so, here we can actually go into the Machine Destroyer. So, let's go into Stag Beetle here. Stag Beetle is nice because it lets you go ahead and spawn two guys. Boom, boom, from your deck.、Uh, we're gonna go into the Destroyer here. We're gonna get rid of the、uh, Strike Fodder, which is honestly the worst card in this entire deck because it's not a machining name and we need everything to be a machining name in this deck, regretfully. Gonna get a PG, which is actually quite okay.、Uh, there's no point in putting this down, but I do have to put in another machining down, so unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to put in the mosquito here. So, we're gonna use the effect of machining in store. It requires you to have four machinings on board.、Um, or, well, more particularly, you need to have a machining card. Then you can count on blast two to paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards. Then, if you have four or more machining rear guards, you can actually. Uh, paralyze your opponent's vanguard if all of their cards are at rest. So, there's a lot of requirements here, but the skill is actually pretty powerful once you get it to come off. So, we're gonna go ahead and put 
the uh, little bee back into the soul in order to draw one here. Um, that is actually fine. So now what we can do here is we can actually use the mosquito here to actually get some multi attack, which is kind of nice in this deck. Uh, so we can stand up the unit that we just brought in, attack with the other mosquito here. They are going to heal, which is a little bit annoying because we need a little bit of power here. Uh, we can stand something else. I think we're forced to, I guess. Um, but that's kind of fine. We are going to get the heal trigger, which is very good. Uh, especially since we do have the Legion in hand. So we can't actually go into that. There's no point in powering up this because there's no way it's going to be able to hit. And then now my opponent... Unfortunately, they do have a lot of cards. So it's very easy them, to them for the, them to get over this. But uh, they have to choose what they want to do here. They can go ahead and uh, re-ride, or they can choose to pass turn, essentially. They are going to be forced to re-ride, which means they might not be able to stride. And that's kind of where this deck comes in really good. Because usually you use your grade 3s to stride it. You know, obviously if it's strife out, you'll use it, but if not, you would use your grade 3s. So we just sort of pick apart at our opponent's uh, resources very slowly and uh, see if we can come out on top. So here, what's gonna happen is we're probably gonna lose both of our rear guard, or um, uh, we might lose our whole board because they might end up playing the Neo Flame um, here and then retire it, retire with Mufasa and then kill off this. Yep, there it is. Um, so they might not be able to attack and get the counter charge unless they, um, Rewrite over this stride fodder here. Um, if they do do that, that's okay. They're more than likely going to push us to four, so we can actually go into the Warsicle instead of the stride. Uh, actually, they gave the counter charge here, so yeah. So this isn't going to be able to attack, but they are more than likely going to be able to push us to four here, which means we can go into the War Skull, which is a little bit more powerful now, because we only have four cards in hand, and on top of everything else, oh, that is really unfortunate. Um, they are still going to be able to hit. They've already gone through a bunch of their triggers. On top of that, oh, that is so horrible, and they're all great twos. That is disgusting to see. Uh, we'll give him a good Chokiki. Um, they've already gone through four draw triggers, which are seemingly to be their grade threes. They also are playing crits. I don't know how many of the grade zero crits they're playing, which is kind of the downfall against Mega Colony here, but we'll see what we can do. We are again going to draw and discard a card that I would have liked to have in hand. Good God. All right, let's go ahead and play this. Uh, we could bring out something to draw, but I don't think I want to do that right now. We're not going to stride. Uh, instead, uh, maybe I should have brought something out. <laughs> I just realized what I have on, on hand here. Um, yeah, because we're forced to play this here. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess use this as well. So let's go ahead and swing in here. The only thing I could have brought out was the grade three anyways, but I could have tried the legion next turn. I only played one of the legion. I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, paralyze their vanguard and force them to discard next turn. We're not going to get anything because we lost all our triggers. And we're going to choose this one because this can very easily go into the soul. So now if they want to ride, they're going to have to discard. Um, see what they're going to choose to do here. They're going to discard the stride fodder. Wow. That's like their last one, because there's one, there's two, there's three, they have one more stride fodder. Uh, assuming it's not any damage, yeah, they have one more stride fodder left. They're gonna re-ride here, unfortunately, they're gonna be able to legion. Which means, most importantly, they're gonna be able to get some grade three backs. But, uh, let's see. They presumably will not stride. Yeah, and they will instead go for the legion and put back a bunch of stuff. Uh, having to play this is probably going to be the biggest L today, but uh, we'll see. We have a draw trigger left in the deck, and maybe some heals. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, no heals. All right. Yeah, so we might end up taking a big L here, um, unless I can somehow get some grade twos in hand, which I do have a lot of, so it is still possible. But we'll see what happens here. Doesn't look like they have much. Just to force to move this up. Wow. 
And try and see if they can get some triggers here. They do get it, unfortunately. Not a draw trigger, which is good. So it looks like they have a whole hand of PGs, is what they're trying to tell me here. Um, this forces you to discard, no? So they discard two grade threes. Ooh. Uh, or a grade three and a Grom, I think that was. Uh, yep, Grom and a grade three. Okay, so that's another grade three down. Did not get another grade three here. No little draw trigger. Okay, so we can actually stick with the Warsicle. Don't even have to hit over or anything like that. Uh, Warsicle doesn't even have to hit. Uh, I think Warsicle is more important because we can actually pop a PG out of hand, it looks like. So let's go ahead and play this here. We can stun this and kill this. Uh, so let's go ahead and swing. Even if we don't hit with this, it's fine, but we are going to be able to hit. Let's go ahead and paralyze Vanguard. Not gonna get anything, because there's literally nothing left in the deck. They're gonna lose another PG. We're gonna paralyze this, and we're gonna kill this off here. We have a pretty good defense here. So now they're gonna be forced to discard. They have already two PGs in damage. Um, they're going to just go ahead and skip. Wow. Uh, so I guess they're just going to swing at face here, so we just put them in a really tight spot here. Uh, let's see if we can push here pretty well. Okay, good. That is another grade 3. Uh, there's really no point in striding, I don't think. So let's go ahead and just swing in here. Fortunately, I don't have any counter blasts, but if they hit us a bunch of times... Oh, they have heal guards. That's what it was, not PGs. Okay. Ooh, that's a very nicely placed draw there. See what we got here. We got APG. All right, right away APG. So now they've got one card in hand. Um, they can still use their Vanguard now because we weren't able to paralyze them. It looks like they're able to either stride or uh, re-ride here because they're in the thinking phase for the ride phase. So they're going to stride. Okay. This card, their last stride fodder, unless they put some back. Let's see, they're gonna get, bring out the Mufasa, try and win here, I guess, by getting rid of my uh, uh, Intercept. Yeah, that's their last stride fodder, and they're gonna play down, they're gonna draw something. They're gonna immediately go for the Mufasa Retire to hit my Grade 2. Alright. Which is kind of okay for me, depends on what they play here. They're gonna play that here and go with this play, alright. They're gonna try and go big here. We're gonna lose our heal guard. They're gonna swing in, hope to get a trigger. They are gonna get it. There we go. And that's gonna go over here, which means we are gonna be able to counter charge here. They're unfortunately gonna draw two, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's just how it be. It also does mean that that's their last trigger. So if we can stun them again, uh, they're kind of screwed. And we are going to be able to stun them again, so thankfully the new PG is going to give us enough counter blast next turn to be able to do something here. And all of the units are also at rest, um, so we're going to go ahead and not do this. We're going to just play Mosquito and our booster, and uh, we can try and swing in here see what they've got. That's a PG, should be the last PG. Let's go ahead and swing in here with this. Go ahead and use Counter Blast to limit the Breku to stun their Vanguard and force them to discard here. And uh, there's really no way that they can rewrite right? because <laughs> they don't have any grade threes. And that is going to be game. Uh, bugs are pretty good. So let's go over the actual deck here. Um, pretty much saw how everything goes. The grade ones are. For, for in general, this entire deck, you kind of mess around with a lot of different pieces, a lot of different ratios. Uh, this is what has been working out the best for me. We got four of the Machining uh, Hornet here. If you have a Machining in your soul on place, Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, he actually gets 3k, which is nice for that turn. So you can actually be a 10k Vanguard turn one, which is kind of funny, but it's only to the end of the turn. I play two of the Machining Kaukukus. Uh, whenever this boosts and you hit Vanguard, you can paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards, which is really nice. Um, because the main way to get around this deck is to just not rest your entire rear guards most of the time. So we can use this in order to make sure our stride is active and also disable some of their boosters and whatnot. 
Uh, our starter is going to be the machining a little B. It is very good because you can constantly keep bringing it out with your uh, grade threes. But what he does is you can put him into soul to stand one of your rested rear guards. Whenever you call something from soul, it's going to be rested, including himself. Uh, and then you can draw one and give that unit 3k. Uh, it has to be a machining. Keep that in mind. But you can only call out machinings. Um, and then if, for example, he actually gets, you know, nuked for some reason, uh, you can actually go ahead and soul blast two from the drop zone, put him back into your soul. So, very interesting. As I said, the worst card here in his entire deck is the Stride Fodder here. Because it is not a machining, we need everything to be machining. But we have to Stride. So we don't have any other choice but to play that. And the Grade 2s, uh, for the most part, I feel like the first 8 are pretty standard. And then it's the last 5 where you can kind of swap around and play a couple of different options here. Uh, the Mosquito is really good. It lets you Legion. But also, more importantly, if all of your opponent's units are at rest and your Vanguard is machining, uh, he gets... 2k so he's 11k he can swing up vanguard and if he hits he can actually stand one of your other units giving you multi-attack and he can also paralyze which is kind of nice um we have the machining 12k if you have a machine vanguard he gets 12k and then we have the uh, papilio here which just on place paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards which is really nice as i said uh in case they press something and you can't really go into your destroyer, you can use this. Uh, and then you can also get rid of it with the Armor Beetle, which lets you put a unit into soul and then paralyze an opponent's rear guard also. So uh, when you're calling out a bunch of your units, and let's say you're stuck calling out your grade three or something like that, and it's not really useful, just put it into the soul, uh, paralyze one of your opponent's units. Grade 3 lineup is pretty much static. Uh, it's always four wars to go, four of the Stag Beetle. There's the one off that you can play something else. I think the best option is the Machining Scorpion, not because of his effect. You rarely use any of his effects. All you use him for is to stride, and you already have his his Legion, or sorry, not stride, his to the Legion, and you already have his Legion mate in the deck. Anyway, so you might as well play this over like the Hercules, which, you know, it doesn't really matter uh, its effect. Um, but one of the key cards here is the Machining Stag Beetle. On place, you can call two machining from your soul, and then he gets attack equal to their combined attack. This just lets you use uh, two things. If you're going second, it gives you two machinings on board for you to be able to use your destroyer. Uh, if you're going first, or um, you've just used it up already, uh, you've already, sorry, it's like a, a further turn is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can very easily bring out your beetle after that because you've put it into the soul. Uh, and you can use that to stand one of your units and, and then draw one. Likewise, when you use it when going on your first grade three turn, you can then tuck in your beetle, stand one of those units, usually your grade two that you rode, and then give it, you know, 3k and then draw a card, which is really nice. Or you can just, more importantly, leave it on board. And then with the three of them, the B and the two units you call out, and that's actually four units, you just have to play one, and you can actually use your destroyer here. Who, as we said, if you have a machining heart, all your rearguards are machining hearts, counter blast one, paralyze one rearguard. Then, if you have four machining and all of their units are at rest, paralyze their vanguard also. Right? Um, your other stride that you go into sometimes is the Jaggy Devil. If you don't have the counter blast or there's really nothing else for you to do and you just need some extra power, you can go into the Jaggy Devil here, which on a hey, he paralyzes front and back row one of each which is okay. Uh, it's just usually for numbers and to like cycle out with the stride draw. Uh, we play one of the Messiah for the Legion matchup. Usually I have never used this during a Legion matchup. Legion, or sorry, the Link Joker, not Legion matchup. Sorry, jumbling all over my words. Uh, the Link Joker matchup is really interesting because we kind of screw each other up. Uh, like I paralyze them, they lock my board so I don't have enough machinings, but then I stun their vanguard so they have to constantly discard and they're you know, a resource heavy piece for my deck. Uh, like if they put their awakening in the back, I can stun that and he kind of can't really do much. Uh, you think can still lock it. So it's like, it's a very interesting matchup. Uh, I usually don't need the harmonics, but uh, since I don't have any other grade three, or sorry, strides at the moment to go into, we just have one of the Madu. Technically, since you have a Legion, you can technically use it. And then the stack beetle is a hundred or sorry, 10 K. So you can technically use it. Uh, and then that's the deck. You know, the main game plan is to either go into Warsicle, uh, Limit Break Counter Blast 2 on Attacking Vanguard, Paralyze Vanguard, and also they have to discard in order to ride. On place, you can also Counter Blast 1 and Call 2 Machining, which is kind of nice, but you usually don't want to use the Counter Blast unless you really have a lot. Uh, you just want to go in, stun your opponent, don't let him stride, don't let him do anything, have a good time. Interesting. No more Kagura Seasons, please. We haven't had a Kagura Season in a while. Uh, so, I guess this is a very old secret player, maybe? Um, so unfortunately we're going first here. I can, I 
guess keep the stride fodder. Let's get rid of it. Try and search out for something. Since we're not going to be able to stride first turn anyways, mm, I don't really want to discard this because I only have one of him, so I won't be able to lease it. It's actually like going to be MLB, which is kind of interesting. And I also don't want to discard the Warsicle. Unfortunately, Warsicle is very good to go into. Uh, so I might actually ride Warsicle and discard the Stag Beetle. We'll see what happens. Because uh, Leasling is just a very valid option to have in your back pocket. Especially when sometimes the game slows down to a, like a crawl where your opponent can't really do anything. And you don't have enough counter blast to stun them again. Usually that's the turn when you Legion in order to get your resources back. But uh, let's see, they're going to lose one of their heals early, which is nice. Uh, we're not really going to be able to draw much. I think I'll actually play the Mosquito in the soul instead of the armor beetle, because I feel like that might be a little bit more useful in the future. Let's see. I'm going to have a draw circle into another beetle, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But I can bring that out. Next turn, if I do go into the stag beetle here, um, which I might just to be able to draw some more cards. We'll see. Next turn, we're probably going to get pushed to like five, which is going to be really unfortunate. Uh, but... <laughs> this is kind of a really bad matchup for them because they're gonna have to be forced to re-ride the MLB and they lose all of their stuff. Uh, so that's gonna be really nice. Uh, I kind of want to play like my both of my beetles just so I don't get bombed, but I am getting a mosquito, so I guess that's fine. All right, so we have this stag beetle that we can actually discard for stride fodder next turn. So what we'll do here is we'll bring out these two here. Unfortunately, we cannot stride, so let's go ahead and use Little B, get him out of here, get this out, um, and yeah, let's go ahead and play this, uh, just the block, let's go ahead and attack here, they are unfortunately going to be able to get two counter blasts out of this. Which means they're going to be able to use the Blaster Blade Retire. Uh, which is a little bit annoying. Which means they're going to swing in once to the face if they have enough cards. But I'm sure they have because they're about to have to overdraw. Then after that, they're going to swing in with MLB. Uh, push us to 5 still. Uh, and then we're going to force them to rewrite MLB after that. Uh, I might have to go into... I don't know who's better, if it's Warskull or Destroyer. They're actually going to stride here, but they don't have any options. Okay. So I might have to force them to ride into Gantelot if I get really, really lucky here. They're going to go into the Gablade here. All right. Um, so let's see if they're still going to use this. They're still going to use this to retire one of my intercepts. And they might just swing and then swing gear with whatever it is that they call. Hopefully we can get a draw trigger so that they can't um, hit us. I guess if they do push us to four. Ooh, that's two BGs gone. If they do push us to four, uh, that's actually fine because then we can go into the Warsicle. Or at least have the Warsicle live. Uh, I don't know if I want... Well, if I do paralyze that... Um, they might even call the great. Yeah, that's what I figured. They're probably gonna call it to the back so they could try and use the next turn. Okay. Um, so I definitely want them to discard. I think they have a lot of cards in hand. They've gone through only one great three. They might have another one in hand. Maybe discarding is not that good because if I paralyze this, it's not the worst thing in the world. But I don't really have any intercepts right now. I can paralyze most of their board. If I paralyze this, it doesn't really matter. Because uh, he wants to put that into the soul, but I am going to have to force him to like do a little bit more work. Um, I also can't, I realized uh, he wasn't able to push me before. So actually, uh, let's go ahead and um, I have to ride in order to get enough units, unfortunately. So let's ride the stag beetle here. We're going to put our B here, our stag beetle there. Uh, we're actually going to go into the Caprice here. Uh, we're going to discard the Stride Fodder. And hopefully draw into like a Mosquito, maybe? No, it's a Heal Guard. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. We're going to not use this skill. We're going to use 
Uh, wait, did he not? Oh, he has two standing. Oh, that's right. That is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> For some reason, I thought this was rested. Uh, so let's go ahead and not activate this. Let's go ahead and try and activate this. Nope, that is not what I wanted. So, all right. No point in moisture and counter blast here. So let's just go ahead and push him. Should have gone for the uh, Jaggy Devil. Uh, that is fine. I was hoping to draw into a Papilio, but instead we're gonna heal off a of Papilio. Uh, I still can't go into Warsicle. Jaggy wouldn't have made a huge difference. They would have at least not been able to boost, but. Fortunately, uh, there isn't really anything that I could do if I lost one of my rear guards. I wouldn't have enough rear guards to be able to paralyze anyways, right? So it's not like I necessarily misplayed by not using the, um, it's I wanted, by not using the armor beetle, uh, because then I would have to call the legion, which I guess I could have done. But either way, we managed to make them lose, um, some of their resources here. So let's see if uh, we can make him lose a couple more. Wow, I just keep getting heal guards here. Right, let's just go into this. Uh, I think I'll actually use... What do I have in soul? I might just use it just to get more, some more bodies here and draw a card. Because I have the extra one counter blast that I can use. Uh, I'd rather them discard a card at this point. So let's go ahead and put this back, draw a card. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's force him to have to go through an intercept here. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in here. This is unfortunately not going to hit, but it doesn't matter. We can still use our effect anyways. And counter Blast, paralyze that. Hopefully hit a draw so we can hit. Hey, there we go. And then hopefully they don't hit. Uh, actually, they hit a trigger. Does this still hit? This is just enough. All right. So now they lose a PG immediately. Okay, we know they had like two PGs in deck. So now, in order to re-ride, they're going to have to discard. And if they re-ride, they'd have to... I'm pretty sure they have to go ahead and use uh, MLB's effect again. Because it's only applied to that instance of MLB. So they're just going to have to sit there with a 10k. Ooh, they're going to ride skip here instead. Unfortunately for them, I do have two counter blasts. So I'm just going to do it again next turn. Um... And the most they can do is maybe lose a heal guard right now. Uh, I guess they could pop the intercept and try and go aggressive. Swing two to the face here. They're actually going to play it down. Oh boy. I mean, you're not going to win because I have every defensive in the world imaginable. But all right. I, I, I understand your plight, my guy. We're going to get another one of these. All right. So let's go ahead and not do that. We're going to go ahead and play down our defensive. Uh, we're going to go ourselves a booster because we can. Let's make sure we can actually hit here and swing for lethal. Let's go ahead and swing here. We're gonna swing here. They're gonna have to PG that. They're gonna get some counter blast, which is fine. And then now the coup de grace here. We're gonna go ahead and stun him one more time. We're gonna get a draw trigger, which is nice, into another one of these. What are you even called, my friend? Oh, nice. So you can't heal guard this, not that you had one. There we go. So even if they heal this, they're kind of fucked next turn. Because, wow, they resist. <laughs> Korean months are interesting. Because um, then they would have to discard and re-ride, and once you re-ride, you lose MOB skill. But in any case, uh, that is going to do it for now. Uh, I wanted to sort of pump out a lot of like Vanguard Zero content throughout um, February, um, just because Fighters Collection just came out, and I always wanted to do you know some Vanguard Zero content. But we'll see what we'll do in the future. I'll probably just do stuff like the Nova Grappler videos that I did, and like just maybe stuff like that. Um, I have a video that I'm planning on working on just talking about the state of the game in general. Uh, but overall, we'll probably start transitioning back into more of the TCG content now that we have uh, DBT04 for Overdress. Uh, but if you're not into the TCG and you'd rather see more Zero videos, again, let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see from me. But until then, take care of yourself.